three ways are designed for fast and safe motoring. By eliminating sharp curves, intersections and pedestrians, it's possible to drive faster than you would on other roads. But higher speed gives you less time to recover from mistakes. These driving conditions may be unfamiliar to you. So at the first sign approaching a freeway, prepare yourself not only for faster driving, but also for a different sort of driving. When entering a freeway, make sure there's enough room to move into the traffic, accelerate to the speed of traffic on the freeway, and merge smoothly. When entering the freeway, don't hesitate, because hesitation makes merging more difficult, both for you and the cars that bank up behind you. If you do, you'll also have to accelerate to freeway speed, usually from a standing start and it will be more difficult for you to reach the same speed as traffic on the freeway. This means you're going to need a bigger gap in the approaching traffic so you can merge smoothly. If you enter at less than freeway speed, you cause trouble to the traffic behind you, creating a chain reaction, which gets worse towards the back of the queue. It's the responsibility of drivers already on the freeway to admit merging traffic. When you're on the freeway, allow faster traffic to pass to the right of you and keep to your own lane. Before you change lanes to overtake, check your rear vision mirror. If all is clear, signal your intention to pass and overtake the car ahead. When the vehicle you've overtaken is visible in your rear vision mirror and the road is clear, signal your intention and change back to your original lane. Remember to use your mirror. Check your blind spot. Use your indicators. And don't forget to cancel your signal when you've completed your manoeuvre. Drivers who follow too closely to the vehicle ahead restrict their own field of vision and reduce the time they have to react to the unexpected. Here's a demonstration of what would happen during an emergency stop at 60 miles an hour. The first car brakes. The second car, which is in an adjacent lane for the purpose of this demonstration, reacts to the first car's brake lights. By the time the second car's driver has reacted, his car has travelled 65 feet. There would have been no chance of avoiding a collision. When the cars behind keep at the correct distance, there's plenty of time for the drivers to stop safely. A simple guide which remains constant at all speeds, called the time lapse formula, is very useful to check your correct following distance. You watch the vehicle ahead of you pass some definite point on the freeway, a post or a road sign. Then count normally to yourself 1001, 1002. That's two seconds. If your bonnet passes the marker before your count of two seconds, then you are following too closely. This rule holds good at any speed. Rain, high winds and fog demand extra caution. Drive so that you can stop within the limit of your visibility. Decrease speed and increase distance by as much as double the normal from the vehicle ahead. If the car behind you is travelling too closely, encourage him to pass by slowing down or changing lanes. Or if he still hangs on, increase the distance between you and the traffic ahead. This will also give you plenty of space for a smooth and gradual stop, so that your hanger-on can react in time and so prevent a rear-end collision. If you have to stop on the freeway because of a breakdown or accident ahead, 
give the traffic behind you as much warning as you can. Pull over to the left-hand side, clear of the traffic lanes. Turn on your four-way emergency flashes if you have them. Although uncommon, the head-on collision can still happen on a freeway. The signs all point to danger, but this driver has ignored them. If you see this happen, take immediate action. Slow down, flash your headlights, move as far to the left as you can without obstructing other traffic. Because freeways are designed to remove the usual hazards, driving on them tends to become monotonous. Any distraction is welcome. And remember, freeways are not the place for family squabbles. You've plenty to occupy your attention ahead. Never stop on a freeway, except in an emergency. And above all, don't reverse, even on the shoulder. If you miss your exit, drive on to the next one so you don't have to do something dangerous like this. Learn to think ahead. And when leaving the freeway, signal your intention and move into the deceleration lane before you slow down. Remember that after driving for some time on the freeway, you've become accustomed to high speeds. So observe the speed signs and check your speedometer because it is the only reliable indication of speed as you slow down. You're now in a new situation with two-way traffic and pedestrians. So remember, if you want to get there safely on a freeway, you must give yourself more time and space to react to situations as they develop, and you must adjust your speed to road conditions. By driving on a freeway sensibly, we can all help achieve accident-free motoring. <laughs>